<laughs> Who said you shot Zappy? Yeah, no, you no. made me do that. Okay, okay, guys. Right, let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's only my second video, but this video is a very special video because we are going to be opening our results state. Opening our results state. Maybe opening our results state. Our results. We are going to be opening our results. <laughs> I guess we're going to open up all day and then open up all week. Let's go. <laughs> we're going to open up the day. <laughs> Serious, serious, serious. Start off from the beginning. Serious. From the beginning. <clears throat> now you can just carry on. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to be opening our results. Um. And well, we have already opened our results. Uh. That was the plan. So I opened my results with Safe Swan. It was a bit of a sticky situation. Um. He had a bit of a problem with his application. But you're going to see all of that anyway. But before we do get into that, we are going to briefly talk about um our experience of gap years. We've both taken gap years. I've taken two years out now, and Safe's taken one year. So we're just going to give a, um, just talk to you, give you guys a bit of advice on what to do if you are in that situation or if you are thinking of taking a gap year, like safe anyway. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. <clears throat> let's go. So um, initially, I always wanted to take a gap year. Um, so anyone that, all my friends, they noticed that when I was in second year, I was always like, even before COVID, I always was inclined to take a gap year and work on some ventures. However, the whole algorithm system that happened last year where they decided to give us results based on our parents' like income, if they went to university or not, the area you live in, all of those factors, that kind of brought my grades down. So during that week, I missed my university offers and then I had to basically kind of reapply in that year. So what was initially a choice for me became compulsory and I had to take a gap year. I was like forced into it. So yeah, that's the reason why I took a gap year. Okay, uh, this is my second gap year. So a bit of a, bit of a long one. But um, with myself, basically the first time I failed my A-levels. So I had to take a gap year to retake. Um, and then obviously COVID came along. Uh, my exams got cancelled for my retake year. So I had to take another gap year and then retake them this year. So that's where we are right now. Mm. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the negative aspects of um, taking a gap year. I think the worst thing about taking a gap year, especially because I've taken two now, is kind of like the fear of missing out because seeing everyone from like on your socials, everyone in your year going in the third year of university now, it's obviously a very, very crappy feeling being at home, mm. um, not being able to go to university just because you don't have the grades. I was in a kind of position where I didn't have the grades to basically even get into my backup. So university was a complete no-go for me at that point. I agree with what you're saying about, you know, you feel like an outlier. You feel like everyone's having that fun. Why am I not there? Exactly. And um, there will be times in your gap year where you feel lonely, where you're sitting at home and your friends are outside and they're just having fun whilst you're probably working on a venture, whilst you're probably revising if you're retaking. And at times you'll feel lonely, but just know it's absolutely fine. Just just think about it like this. You're doing this right now. You're sacrificing certain things for a greater good. Yeah. So what you're doing right now, you're going to be in the same position as them in a year's time. Exactly. So don't treat it like, oh, they're having fun. Why am I not yeah. uh, doing that? Because you will have that. You'll get they, your time to shine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not a competition at yeah. the end of the day. Uh, and uh, Okay, so uh, my biggest negative, I would say, is uh, finding it difficult to keep a routine. I think the reason being is because of COVID, obviously the whole online learning and working online as well. I was waking up at like 8, 9 o'clock to get to work and I was working from my bed at time as well, working 7 to 8 hours. Then again, staying, even after in the evening, staying at home working. It was as if like you're stuck in a prison basically all day. I think the main thing to realise in your gap year is to keep a routine. Your routine, waking up early, going to the gym and stuff, it'll make a huge, huge difference. Don't take a gap year. Guys, yeah, don't. we're lying to you. Everything we said in this video, disclaimer, we're lying. Gap is the worst experience of my life. Don't take it, man. You're going to waste your time. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't, don't take it. Don't are you recording? We carry on for where we are. The good stuff about gap years. <laughs> There's no good stuff. <laughs> Just don't take it. Don't take it. <laughs> I've picked up so many skills, just, you know, cut, like just talking to people. Uh, I've built my confidence a lot. And I think that's definitely something that's going to benefit me. Uh, what's another thing that you would say in your, in your gap year that you should do? This is going to sound uh, way outside of what you guys probably hear. But I feel like gap year, and it links to what you were saying, gap year humbles you, man. Yeah. Because firstly, you've been rejected by all universities, if that's happened. Um, but secondly, when you go into a work environment, you'll realize that 
people only value you depending on the amount of experience and value you provide to them. Yeah. If you're not providing enough value to your workplace, if you're being sluggish, if you're not working, people won't care how nice you are. You get what I mean? So you really need to, you get, you get that reality check basically, which you don't get in education. You realize that. Because you, I feel you like can get replaced tomorrow. It? Literally, you're, it, like, you you're, you're pampered, isn't it? When yeah. you're, when you're uh, in high school, when you're in primary school, even at sixth form, you're pampered up. Everyone, all the teachers show you all the attention. Even if you're doing bad, people teach, they're trying to they show you encourage you. In a workplace, if you're not, you know, if you're slacking, Get out cutting of you off, bro. Get out I think the second thing that I would say is work experience. So as much as you're working and you're stacking money, you do want to get some work experience because you've got another year now. I think it's best to kind of get your head... What am I trying to say here? You're trying. It's best to kind of head on. switch on, yeah and, yeah, and and try to work out what exactly you want to do when you go to go exactly. to university. If you're someone who wants to go into medicine or dentistry, use this as an opportunity to do a work suite placement in a hospital mm. or in a doctor's surgery. Because I did that, and I know that that's one of the main things that stopped me from wanting to do medicine. Because when I went and I saw these professionals working the job that I wanted to do, and I saw they weren't necessarily enjoying themselves, that's what kind of put me off. So mm. you want to actually get it's like a reality check. You want to see. If it works for you. Exactly. You want to see if it's something that you're going to do. It. Like, what was I saying to you the other day? I was like, look, we're working in this workplace together. We're doing this nine to five, but do I want to do this for the rest of my life? And working there showed us that. So work experience will show you that as well. Exactly. So definitely, definitely try to get some work experience. And I think the last thing is have fun. Have fun, man. Yeah. Travel, have fun. Yeah. This is your year. Like, do whatever you want. Whatever you want, have fun. Go, like, read it. We used to go out all the time. Yeah. You yeah. get me? We so, went on holiday. We went on a holiday. We went to, uh, well, up, up near Lake District. We climbed a mountain. We exactly. did a lot of fun we stuff. Lot so, of stuff. use this time wisely. Because you're not going to get this time back. You're you won't get, get it. You won't get it back. This is like a learning point for you. So, use it wisely. Develop some skills. Go to the gym. Build a good body. Yeah, yeah. that's basically everything about our gap years. Um, but basically now, let's switch to the main reason why you clicked on this video. Let's get to the results day. Let's get to the results day. <laughs> Fun part, let's go. <laughs> yes! It was recorded! Yes! Uh, I told Saints that we're going to wait and until for a bit and then we're going to just open it on camera just to get our reactions. Um, it's your a bit situation. of a sticky situation guys. You know in our lives there's always some sort of issues <laughs> going on. Like always. So hopefully I'm aiming for an... Uh, all I need is an A but I'm aiming for an A star inshallah. And then if I get an A star I'll have three I A think, stars. I think you'll get an A star. Like, this is it. A year's work. Are you, are you ready? Yeah? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay. not yet. Okay, I'm about to click on it. I'm about to... You're going to have a drum roll over okay. here. Yeah? Why is the mon ringing you, wait, let me cancel this call. I had to cancel your call. Sure. I know, there's too much suspense. I thought it was going to be open and that's it. Feel my heart right now. Feel my heart right now. <laughs> I've opened it, I can see so, it. Wallahi. Wallahi. So why have you said okay, it? You did good, yeah? Yeah. Well, 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 I'm actually proud of you. Well, like, you did well. But, like, this is not your standard. You got A. No, bro, you got B, but man. So, wallahi. I know this guy. A star in biology. That makes it how many A stars? Three. A star in maths. A star in chemistry. Yeah, a star in biology. That's, that's my oh, bro. Oh, literally, chill. guys, you don't understand. This year, the past years have been so shit for me. You don't understand how shit this past year has been. Bro, it's worth it, man. You uh, you work so, hard for this. Finally, going UCL. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. Post. Let's check track right now. Oh, yeah. Let's track. Yeah. Congratulations, your place at UCL. You got it, yeah. Lasting twenty six hours.